what, with, what, with, what, what. What's this hair doing? Really? What's up, pups? How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Seriously, thank you. So today I want to talk to you guys about a little thing called relationships and a side thing called breakups. Now, relationships are not something that I personally know a lot about. I'm not typically the type of girl that goes out to clubs every weekend and meets a guy and lets him take me out and pay for stuff and then says, peace out, trout. What can I say, you know? Weird. So, you know, when you get in a relationship, everything is gravy. Like, you're just like, this is the best ever, and I'm so excited, and we're dating, and we're probably gonna get married and have babies, and be buried in the same coffin. You know, because in high school, I mean, hormones are flying everywhere. Watch out for those hormones. They might hit you in the head on the way to class. Your friend might come up to you in high school, like they do, and say, hey, that boy over there is staring at you. He must like you and want to be your boyfriend. And then you'll say to your friend, well, oh my god, he's so cute. And I so totally would date him, like, right now. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna go talk to him. Or should I go talk to him? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, oh my god. So then you talk to him and you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend after 20 minutes of talking. Maybe less, I don't know. And then you find after a week, you both have kind of moved on. And my whole point to this is that relationships in high school are far different from relationships out of high school. Because when you hit that threshold as an adult, you'll notice that it becomes exceedingly more difficult to meet people. And I feel like that's why a lot of people do the online dating thing. I'm not anti-online dating. I just personally believe that the day that we all try to focus on finding someone on the internet rather than going out into the world and meeting people and showing off your awesome personalities, which you guys are all awesome and I'm sure you all have awesome personalities because, I mean, come on, let's face it, the people who watch my videos have to be pretty awesome. That's the day that the apocalypse will be happening. That is the day where we all turn into the world that was created in the movie WALL-E. We're all just gonna be floating around in our little chairs that move and we're gonna be watching TV from our chairs and it's gonna generate food and we're just gonna be so fat that we can't move and we're gonna be like, oh my god, I need to find someone that I can sit next to that totally likes to watch this cooking show with me, oh my god. That is a thing that you will come to realize. And if you're out of high school, then you understand what I'm talking about because once you get to college, it's not like high school at all. I mean, in high school, people are in the halls like, oh, hey, what's up, oh my god, my hair, it looks so great, oh my god, look, it's raining, let's run under the overhang. <laughs> in college, it's more so like, you have to realize that out of high school, things are exponentially different in the dating world, and it's really hard to meet somebody. And when you finally do, it's no longer like, oh my god, I've met you, let's be boyfriend and girlfriend. It's like a courting thing, like we've gone back into the dark ages. You go through these series of dates, and it could last from one day to possibly six months, and then comes the day when you're like, hey, are we going steady? And then, you know, they answer yes or no, and then you know if you have a boyfriend or not. So it's just a little bit more intricate, like the process is a lot more. And that's why you'll find that many people are content with not having someone. If you're a shy person, gonna be a little bit more difficult for you. So you're gonna have to put yourself out there. I'm gonna lay it to you straight. Putting it on the table. Here you go. That's the table. That's for you. Right there. I can't really point because I'm using my hand, but that's for you. What you gotta do is you just gotta put yourself out there. We all have this one life to live and you gotta live it to the fullest. I'm telling you, because you can't live your life in your bedroom thinking that Prince Charming is gonna come and save you or, well, I guess technically you can if you're doing the online dating thing, but I'm trying to steer you guys away from that and trying to get you out outside into this great world that we live in because there's so many things that are in this world that are awesome and you have to experience them firsthand and you know what while you're experiencing that planetarium you might meet the guy you're gonna date for a couple of months and then break up with or you might meet your husband one of the two you don't know you could be at the grocery store and be buying asparagus and maybe a guy next to you is buying asparagus too. You guys totally have so much in common. You should just get married. Now, breakups. Something else that we all go through happens to everyone. My best advice 
for you if you are currently going through a breakup is don't take any advice. You have to listen to yourself. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. It really, really sucks when you go through a breakup and it really sucks to feel unwanted. And a lot of people will come to you and be like, oh my God, but there's tons of fish in the sea. You'll be fine. You're gonna find someone else that's gonna treat you awesome. And many people will come up to you and ask, oh my God, what's wrong? Are you okay? And that is the worst possible thing you could do to someone who is already down in the dumps, is to have someone come up to you and ask you what's wrong because you're just gonna look at them and burst out crying or get angry and say, nothing's wrong, go away. Either way, it's, literally the worst and we've all been through it we've all experienced these feelings so you're not alone in feeling this way every single person on the planet can think you're the bee's knees and think you're like the coolest person ever and just want to be around you all the time but if all of those people are not the one person that you care about then it sucks and there's nothing you can do to change that. And the important thing to remember in that situation is that you aren't alone. The way that you feel is something everybody goes through. It's it's not like it's a foreign idea. If you're upset and sad and someone walks up to you and says, what, you're upset and sad? What does that even mean? So to explain what I mean by don't take anybody's advice, listen to yourself. You know how long it's gonna take you to heal and feel better. You know yourself better than anyone else knows you. Don't ask people for advice. I mean, you totally can if it makes you feel better about your personal decision. When it's you going through a situation, you are the only one who knows what's happening. A good way to explain this is that if you have a friend who's currently going through something traumatic, like her dog died or she got dumped or her parents are fighting, you have to remember that when we're addressing other people's situations, we don't look at it like it's our personal situation. So it's easier for us to see the way to react and see what we have to do. But when it's you yourself in that situation, it's not so easy. And listening to other people's advice doesn't really do anything because you're the one that's not feeling up to par, you know? It's kind of like being that one friend in the group that's always like, Oh my god, just cheer up. You'll meet someone else or you'll get a new dog or your parents will make up. It's not a big deal. You just need to be happy. Yeah, but it's not so easy when you're in that situation because you're just like, No! My life! It's... Ah, ah. Sure, you can dish out the advice, but then the next day when your dog passes away or you get dumped and people are trying to give you the same advice, not so easy, is it? It's just important to remember that no matter what your current situation is, it will always get better. Nothing stays the way it is. Everything is constantly changing, which is the beauty of our world. Everything is constantly changing. You're not always gonna feel the way you feel. Even if that, that goes for if you're super duper happy, there are gonna be times in your life where you're so down in the dumps that you don't feel like you're ever gonna come out. Your mind is the craziest mechanism in the world because you can really, change the way you think. But when you're going through a situation that makes you feel really sad and heartbroken, you have to remember that things will always get better. And that's all you have to tell yourself. You're, you don't have to get mad at yourself for being sad because that's totally fine and it's natural. Everyone gets sad. So what? Everyone goes through it. You're not alone. But you just have to keep telling yourself it's not always going to be that way. And the more that you tell yourself, each day it's going to get easier. And that's the beauty of our mind because we can totally control like how we feel we are in complete control of ourselves and that's the awesomeness of having brains right here yep so that's just my advice on relationships slash breakups i mean take it as you will totally not here to preach to you guys like i just felt like this was a topic that I would like to talk about. I, I've actually finally figured out what I'm gonna do for this channel. You guys are gonna laugh at me because I'm sure some of you have been watching my videos forever and know that I'm always like, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I finally figured it out and this is what I'm gonna do. And I don't have a schedule yet because I know I say I'm gonna make a video a week and I never do. So expect from me advice videos, opinions videos, victims are gonna be coming back and skits. Those are the type of videos that I'm gonna gear towards and I'm gonna try to do them, um, one of them, once a month, which is again going into saying I'm gonna make a video a week and obviously that's I haven't been true to that statement. I'm going to try, I promise. It's going to be a thing that I will try to do. My next video is actually gonna be an opinion video. So what do you guys want to hear my opinion on? E I'm here for all of you guys, so if you ever need any advice or cheering up, that's what I'm here for. So follow me on Twitter so we can be Twitter friends and we can do cool things. Yeah. Peace out, Trouts.